What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Adi and today I'm going to be doing an update on Tesla stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. First of all, Happy New Year, my friends. I wish you the best. And let's continue with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and I've told you that we finished uh, the ABC correction and we finished the C wave and uh, this wave should have a shape of five wave structure and uh, we completed uh, this uh, movement and we hit uh, this confluence range. It is a 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level and the price point of about uh, 892.53 dollars and uh, it is the top of our previous uh, swing high it was uh, previously it was an all-time high in January 2021 and uh, we hit this range and I've told you that uh, it is a next accumulation point where you can add your position add your long position with this company and from this point as you can see we had a uh, perfect bounce so we had uh, about 23% uh, uh, to this highest point and for now we are still hovering at around 18% of potential profits very good achievement but I have some doubts and I will show you these doubts in my technical analysis and for now let's continue with the fundamental news that might affect uh, the price of this company I don't want uh, to dive deep uh, into the company profile or into the financials of uh, Tesla because we all know that this company is uh, very stable from the financial standpoint. I want to pay your attention on uh, the recent news. And first of all, right here on December 31st, we have this article that is titled Tesla asks employees to protest California proposal on rooftop solar changes. And let me quote you this. Tesla's energy division is encouraging uh, its employees to object uh, to a proposal from the California Public Utilities Commission uh, that would effectively make solar power more expensive for customers, according to CNBC. The proposal would lower payments to customers who generate excess solar power that is sent back to the grid and add monthly grid connection charges. That could reduce incentives uh, for customers to get solar power systems uh, from Tesla and its competitors. Talking points provided to employees include submitting a comment to regulators and joining the Solar Right Alliance. And I have to say that uh, this might negatively affect uh, this division of uh, Tesla company. But all in all, this division is experiencing much higher demand that uh, they can uh, fulfill. And uh, this means uh, I don't think that uh, it might drastically affect uh, the price uh, of uh, Tesla. But we have uh, recent news uh, from uh, the alternative uh, division and let me quote you this <laughs> this uh, title is quite scary tesla recalls almost half a million electric cars over safety issues and i have to say that a lot of uh, mass media made these type of uh, titles but i have to say the news by itself is not so severe let me show you the official document uh, of uh, nhtsa this is a safety recall report for the model 3 and let me show you right here, number of potentially involved vehicles is 356,000, slightly higher than this range, and estimated percentage with defect only 1%. So, not more than 35,000 vehicles might be with this type of uh, defect. But let me show you what is uh, this defect about. Over time, repeated opening and closing of the trunk lid uh, may cause excessive wear to the coaxial cable. If uh, the wear causes uh, the core of coaxial cable to separate, the rear view camera feed is not visible on the center display. So, and that's it. Here is the entire issue of these cars. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, a Model S uh, issue and the number of vehicles that might be involved is uh, slightly below 120,000 and the estimated percentage with the defect is 14%. Let me quote you this. The frunk may open without warning and to obstruct the driver's visibility, increasing the risk of a crash. So, potentially it might be very severe, but let me show you this. Uh, this company has only one case that took place in January 2021 and all in all, Tesla is not aware of any crashes, injuries or deaths related to the condition. 
So I have to say that uh, this news by itself is not so severe, but it can affect uh, in a negative manner some weak hands uh, that might sell the stocks of uh, Tesla. And uh, let me show you that uh, on China we also have uh, the same recall and uh, this article was published also on uh, December 31st and it says Tesla recalls uh, almost 200,000 vehicles in China. And the reason of this recall is absolutely the same and it is a Model S and Model 3 vehicles. So it is what it is, we have to be prepared for the potential bearish pressure, but we also have uh, some good news and uh, uh, let me show you that on uh, January the 1st uh, we have this article that is titled EV Outlook – Tesla forecast to top 2022 deliveries expectations, Rivian and Lucid seen underperforming. And let me quote you this. Loop uh, Ventures forecasts Tesla will beat consensus vehicle deliveries expectations for 2022. The electric vehicle maker is seen delivering uh, 1.2 million to 1.3 million vehicles for the year, which would mark 45% uh, year-over-year -year growth at the midpoint. Loop is still bullish on Tesla and calls it a $2,500 uh, stock uh, for the long term with EV, Energy, Autonomy, HVAC, VTOL, Robots themes all playing in. The long term valuation case uh, from the firm is based on 6x revenue in 5 years. So, very good forecast and on top of this forecast uh, we have uh, more forecasts from t pranks and uh, uh, all in all uh, it has 27 ratings, uh, 14 of them suggest to buy, 8 to hold and 5 to sell. And uh, the price targets are following. The lowest price target is $215, average price target is $1024.68 and the highest price target is uh, $1580 and uh, to the average price we have a downside potential of about 3%. So this means we have to be cautious. And let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, we have very good movement to the upside but my main concern about this movement is that it is a uh, extremely sharp. We shouldn't have uh, this uh, movement uh, in a matter of uh, several sessions for about 25% of its value. In my opinion it is uh, a little bit suspicious. And as you can see I drew this line uh, uh, when we had this uh, previous top. So and uh, we hit uh, this range and bounce back from it. And uh, right here I can see some bullish uh, sign because uh, uh, potentially this might be a bullish flag, a bull flag and this uh, formation usually breaks to the upside. But right here, let me show you, with this movement uh, I cannot count five waves structure, I, can, I clearly see only three waves and this might be an ABC to the upside and then we might have a lower price action. That's why we have to be cautious and we have key levels. First of all, if we will break this resistance and establish uh, higher highs again, we will have a five-wave structure in this movement and this will invalidate uh, this ABC correction as our primary count. But otherwise, if we will break this range of about uh, $996, this means uh, we will have more bearish pressure in upcoming sessions and this will lead us to lower price points. So, for now I have to say that uh, it is not the best point to enter your long position with Tesla because we haven't enough confirmation uh, to see next leg to the upside. And this means uh, the probability of next movement uh, to the highest uh, price targets are not so probable. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!